Okay, let me again share this. Cool. If my screen is visible to all, is my screen visible to all? Let me know. Ha, bhaiya. Okay. Okay, so most of people. Okay, right. Okay, so let's switch to the questions. This is the logic building session, and it is the first session. right so isme what we are going to do is ki let's say what will be discussing in this session the first question that we have okay so the first question we have is the swap okay swap me what will be discussing the first one is ki of course you guys have like done this question but uh, the way i have taken choose or, or chosen these questions is because i want to start from basic and then we'll move to advanced dsa right with time we'll move to the advanced dsa but for this instance let's suppose if you are starting with a c++ or if you are starting with any language right so i'll i'll move to in those manner right so suppose if you are starting a uh, uh, basically a topic that is kind of now for this instance you are studying about operators right so this swap question is from operators right if you have studied about operators variables and data type then this question is from that segment right so isme will be having two method the first one the second one जो कि विल बी डिस्कसिंग इन दिस क्लास टूडे एंड देर इज ऑल्सो अ थर्ड मेथड दैट विल बी होमवर्क फॉर यू गाइड राइट द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इट वॉज की फाइंडिंग द मैक्सिम ठीक द फाइंडिंग मैक्सिम इज बेसिकली बेस्ड फ्रॉम टॉपिक वॉट टॉपिक इट इज बेस्ड फ्रॉम इफ यू हैव स्टडीड इफ एल्स इफ and else this also includes this also includes nested if okay so from next 2 to 3 lecture we'll be discussing only these type of question which relates to these two topics okay the operators variables data types then if else and nested if so finding maximum is basically having three versions the first one is ki if uh, you have to find maximum between two the second is maximum between three right and the third version is ki second maximum okay second maximum between three so this maximum between two is two variables three is three variable and the second maximum between three variables right so these includes to that so this is what we are going to discuss today and without wasting any time let's move on to the question first the first one is swap okay so pehle we'll be discussing the swap let's say swap means what how many of you guys know about what is swap let me first state the questions uh, the question says ki we have to swap two values okay there is a value x and there is a value y right so what we have to do is ki we have to swap this two value for example if x is equals to 1 and here y is equals to 2 then if i simply just print this x and y it returns me the output as 1 comma 2 but what we have to do is ki we have to swap okay x and y so after this the output should be like 2 comma 1 this 2 is value of x this 1 is value of y 
initially the value of x was what the value of x is 1 but here it is 2 initially the value of y was 2 but here after swap it is 1 so this is the question that we have to do right now uh, I got the messages just let me check how many of you were able to understand what the okay so this yes no else for what did you guys understand about swap okay my screen got okay my screen visible nahi hai, right okay so should we move forward everyone is okay till here okay let's move on to the topic and now i hope you guys are clear with what a swap really is right so the first thing is since we understood the question now what we have to do is key let's say if i need to convert it in variable so what i can say x is a variable and it is having some value let's say it is a right y is some variable some variable and it is having a value that is b can you tell me what is these two things are called can anyone here who can told uh, who can tell me just what these two variables are called not values in terms of programming what are these things called anyone tokens okay tokens are that y see in programming every fundamental thing is called token so this x is also token this y a is also token y is also token b is also token okay but what i'm asking right now is what are those values called a and b what are that okay come on okay if not okay you might guys sharam are yogi but it's okay okay let me tell you this a and b is called literals you guys have must studied about literals in python take these are called literals basically uh, the values that are stored in a variable are called literals am i right am i right or would you like to correct me anyone okay come on come on guys just open up your okay so let's move forward and what i have seen here is ki let's move forward to the question question hame samajh mein aa gaya hai so what i can say ki let's understand the approach with an example राइट सो इसको थोड़ा मॉडिफाई करते हैं जग वन इज हैविंग व्हाट जूस राइट जग टू इज हैविंग व्हाट मिल्क नाउ व्हाट आई हैव टू डू इज कि मुझे इन दोनों वैल्यूज को स्वैप करना है ठीक दैट इज नॉट दिस वे इस जूस को आई हैव टू पुट इट इन जग टू एंड दिस मिल्क शुड गो इन जग वन सो ऐसा तो मैं कर नहीं सकता कि आई विल जस्ट पुट इट दिस मिल्क इन जूस राइट आई कैन डू दैट वरना वो तो मिक्सचर हो जाएगा सो फॉर दिस व्हाट आई विल डू इज कि आई विल इंट्रोड्यूस अ न्यू जग दैट इज जग थ्री सो एफ आई से कि अगर मैं जग वन में जो जूस है एफ आई ट्रांसफर दिस जूस टू जग थ्री देन दिस जूस दिस जग वन इज एम टी राइट फॉर दिस इंस्टेंस इट इज एम टी सो वॉट नाउ आई कैन डू इज कि अब इस मिल्क को आई कैन पुट दिस इन जग वन राइट नाउ जग वन इज हैविंग वॉट जग वन इज हैविंग नो मोर मिल्क and no more juice and it is having milk right now what i can do is ki 
for this instance after this operation the jug 2 is empty right so now what i can do up is jug 3 may we were having what jug 1 may jo juice pada tha it is transferred into jug 3 so let's say here it is having juice okay so now what i'll do is kiss jug 3 may jo juice pada tha i will transfer this to this place Q because this jug 2 is empty. So now it is having no more milk. So ab par we are having juice. So I can say ki if I want to swap any two values or any two things from two containers, then I will need the third container. Right? So this case me, what I did is ki jug 1. Uh, no, just keep it like, huh. I introduced jug 3 and jug 3 me, I Mene jug 3 me kya kiya, jug 1 me jo bhi material pada tha, usko transfer kar diya. Now I can say jug 1 is empty, right? So uh, uh, jug 1 is equals to what? Jug 2. Jug 2 me, jo milk pada tha, now it is transferred into jug 1. Okay, since it was empty, ab now jug 2 is also empty. Theek hai, to ab what I can do is ki jug 2 me, jo juice pada tha, juice wo kaha pe pada hai, ye raha juice, this juice is in jug 3. To what I can say, it is, let's say, jug 3. Okay, so now I hope everyone is able to understand this example. Okay. If anyone who is not able to understand. Eskibar will move to the coding, coding part. Just let me know if you guys understood the example or not. Yes, no, yes, no. Okay, anyone else? Right. Take it. So now let's move to the coding part, but we'll start with two programming, uh, two programming languages. The first one is of course the Python. If you already knew about Python and if you guys have attended the bootcamp that we conducted in the, I think March month, then you guys must be aware about if you want to like swap the values in Python, let's say we are having one and in Python, we are having B is equals to two. Right. So for the case of Python, what we can do is key, let's say it is two. Then if I print these values, that is a comma B and if I run this, it's printing me one and two. So to swap these values, Python provides me a super easy method. That is key, a comma B is equals to B comma A. And now if I print this a comma b after the swap operation, the output that I'll be getting is first it was one comma two and now it is two comma one. Okay. So in Python, you can do this thing in one line, right? But when it comes to C, C plus plus, you are not having these kind of options. Okay. So pe you will need to understand or you will need to create an algorithm or logic building that you have that you will use to create or like just do the operations, these kind of operation, this web operation in C or C++, right? So what if we want to swap the two elements in C++, C++ or C? So let's say we are having an integer that is X is equals to one and Y is also an integer. It is having two. So if I need to print, so I hope everyone is comfortable with the syntax of C language, right? So if I run this, I'll be getting just one comma two, right? Now, since we printed the initial value of X and Y, now what I want to do is ki, I want to swap these values. So just like we understood in our last example with the juice and milk. Now I'll introduce the third variable that is temp. 
राइट एंड इस टेम्प में वॉट आई विल डू इज कि लेट से टेम्प इज हैविंग दैल्यू एज एक्स राइट एंड सिंस एक्स इज एम टी राइट नाउ सो वट आई विल डू आई विल असाइन द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स ओके एंड आफ्टर दिस you can say x is equals to x right but since x is not in its original state not in its original container be why because x is changed here so what we'll do in the place of x just write temp and at the end we will print just the values of x and y now if i run this we got the output but because of this we aren't getting okay so initially it was 1 and 2 and now it is 2 and 1 now many of you guys might say that just do this and swap the elements like x is equals to y and y is equals to x isse bhi to hamara kaam ho jayega can anyone tell me the output of this can anyone tell me the output of this if i do this x is equals to y y is equals to x what can be the output anyone come on guys just don't sit idly ओके सिंग्स लाइक नो वन अंडरस्टूड किसी को समझ में आया ओके समझ में आया सो देन कम ऑन शशांक दिस टेल मी द आंसर इफ आई डू एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू वाई एंड वाई इज इक्वल्स टू एक्स व्हाट कैन बी द आउटपुट व्हाट कैन बी द आउटपुट एनीवन टू टू राइट नाइस हनी रेड्डी गुड वन ओके सो इफ आई ट्राई रनिंग दिस द आउटपुट विल बी टू एंड टू वाई बिकॉज वेन यू डेड दिस लाइन एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू वाई ओके यू डेड राइट एक्स इज टू बट वॉट यू डेड हियर इज यू इनिशियलाइज वाई इज इक्वल्स टू एक्स ओके बट एक्स इज नॉट वन it is here because what you have done is you you have overridden this value of x so that is why in this line it is the value of this x okay so that is why we came to this logic to introduce a temporary variable store uh, store the value of x or maybe you can do of y and then you can use this method right but okay before moving forward let me know if you are having any kind of doubt till here because now what we are going to do and i'm pretty sure this uh, that you guys must be like aware about this method okay how many of you were already aware about this method just raise your hand raise your hand yes nice 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 very good so kafi logo ko pehle se pata tha okay but now what we are going to discuss from now onwards maybe you guys will be just amazed to see okay so coming back to the original state and if i run this i am still getting 1 and 2 as our values but now initially we used this temporary variable राइट right, हमने यहां पे वी वी यूज टेम्पररी वेरिएबल वी डेड वॉट टेम्प इज इक्वल्स टू एक्स एंड एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू वाई एंड वाई इज इक्वल्स टू टेम्प दिस इज द नॉर्मल मेथड द यूनिवर्सल मेथड राइट बट लेट से आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू यूज दिस टेम्प ओके आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू यूज दिस टेम्प वाई बिकॉज इट इज टेकिंग स्पेस राइट सो वी हैव टू एज अ गुड प्रैक्ट as a good programmer i'll need to reduce this space okay 
So, can anyone tell me how can I reduce this space or how can I reduce this step also? I just need to use the X and Y. Can I do this swapping by just using this X and Y? If you think we can, then you are right. If you think we can't, then just discuss. Yes, the addition and subtraction. So let's say what we have here is key X is equals to one and Y is two. Let's say X is equals to you did what? X plus Y. X plus Y is what? X is one. Y is what? Two. So in this case, you get the value of X as three, right? Now, what if I say y is equals to, let's say uh, you get again, uh, again x plus y. Okay, so in this case, what we get x is the value of 1. Okay, should I consider this? If you think yes, then no. Why? Because the value of x is overridden here. Right, so we will be using this value of x as 3. So it is 3 plus y. The value of y is what? It is here. That is 2. So I can say y is now 5. But wait a minute. This is not something that we wanted. We wanted what? Ki y ki value should be the value of x. Right? So how can I get this x, the original value of x means this one. So can I say if I wanted to do, if I can do the just this, just, okay. So can I say if I just do this, y is equals to what x that is 3. And if I divide, uh, sorry, not divide, but if I subtract the value of y, so what I'll be getting x is 3 from here and y is 2 from here. Right. So I can say it is the value of y is equals to 1 and this 1 corresponds to what corresponds to the initial value of x. Right. So can I say okay, if I want to generate or let's say if I want to get the value of x again. Why? Because I have to transfer this x here in y. Okay. So y here is what? y is 2. Anyhow by these two values or using these two values what I have to do is okay, I have to make this y is equals to 2 as 1 okay so it's not 1 because we are swapping the value so by any means we have to convert this value as x so can i say if y is equals to which operation i should do so that the value of y becomes 1 so i found that what can anyone tell me why we have already y is here so we have to do it for x sorry we have to do it for x, right? Y is y was here. Okay, so y is changed to y. Now we have to do it for x is equals to 2. Okay, so considering this case, what operations do I need to perform so that it becomes what? 2. Can anyone tell me what operations do I need to or what expression do I need to write? Okay, so let's see. Okay, can I say x is for this instance we are having the value as 3. Right? So if I overwrite this value, how? If I say okay, x is equals to x minus the current value of y. The current value of y is what? 1. So this turns to be 3 minus 1 and it says 2. So from this side we get the value of 
the y from here that is y is equals to 1 and x from here we got x is equals to 2. Initially these two values or these two values are were what? Can anyone tell me? The y was 1 right? The y was not 1 it was 2 and the x was not 2 but it was 1. Right, so now I hope you guys are clear with this calculation. Just let me know if you guys are having any kind of doubt. Just forget this. Okay, let me know if you are having any kind of doubt. If not, then let's move to the coding part and let's say we came here, the current value of x and y is 2, we'll remove this temp and what I'll do is key x is equals to, what does the variable says? It says key just add x and y, okay. And to get the value or to swap the value of y, x in y, what you have to do is key, you have to do x minus y, right. So let's do x minus y and to get the value of x to swap the value of y in x what we have to do is x minus y gain x minus y okay let's do it and x is what again okay, x minus y can anyone tell me if this is right or wrong what we have discussed till now let's run this and we get the output as 1 comma 2 and 2 comma 1. We just increased a level of operation but we didn't any extra variable right. So this is how we uh, what we call it as is tarike se hum space bachate. right. Now I hope everyone is able to understand this question from the basic. If you guys are already aware about this it's well and good but if not those who are not, it might be beneficial for them and let them know or aware about ki how you think from scratch. So these are just normal questions. Jaysay next section may will move to the scenario based question. Can we write y plus 1? No. If, okay, let's see x is equals to y plus 1 x is equals to let's say if I write this as y plus 1 I am getting this but what if I am having 10 this is not the answer no? it should also be 10 so it was a nice uh, nice test case a nice test case that we just tested Okay, so if anyone is again having any doubt, so make sure you never use this y plus 1. Okay, because it may return odd values for any other test case. Right? Yes, this is applicable only for integers. when you want to like swap the string or characters then at that time uh, you can also like for a character you can do swapping based upon their ASCII values right but if you want to do the strings then you'll come to that temporary variable part okay if everyone have understood this question just let me know and give a thumbs up so that we can move to the further question the next question okay come on everyone okay seems like I'm getting this lot of thumbs up okay so let's remove these things and we will come to the next question I am just clearing this and this also and this also now let's move to the next question that was 
what the next question was ki finding the maximum now if you have understood the operators part let's come to the if else okay so the if else was we have to find the maximum between two okay so if i want to find the maximum between two okay so it is maximum between two the question says ki i am having two variables that is x is equals to 5 y is equals to 7 and what i have to do is ki i have to find maximum of x comma y so this is let's say it seems like 5 comma 7 then the output should be what 7 7 is the maximum value right so 7 is what we have to find okay so let's see ki how we can do this what i can do here is ki if let's say ki we are having x and y so can i say ki if x is greater than y so this thing is maximum value right else what will happen if if this is not right then what will happen the negation of this statement the negation of this statement is what the negation of this statement is means the opposite okay so the negation is yaha par i'll write ki x is less than y means the negation states that y is maximum right so it's just a matter of a uh, if else condition that ki if i will need to compare it first that if x is maximum then i'll just return the x if y is maximum then i'll just return y or it may happen that if x is the maximum then i will return x or if this condition goes wrong then by default the case is what that y is maximum right so let's go to the coding part and what we'll do is we will uh, now use this time the input and output method anyone who can tell me just or guide me about ki how can i take the input in c if you guys have studied about how can i take the input right right was that right sukirat good word okay so it is in uh, let's say let's first create a variable that is x and y so these are the two values this may say hame we have to find the maximum right so what i'll do is ki i'll use this scanf part uh, not here a uh, scanf part and i will use just percent d percent d and yahan par x comma y right since i have taken the input now what we have to do is ki i will check ki if x is greater than what if x is greater than y it means what ki i have to print i have to print what ki the maximum value from x and y is 2 x right else i can say if y is greater than x what i'll need to print i will need to print ki the y is maximum that's i copy this and i'll change this to this okay so if x is greater print x if y is greater print y it's just simple as simple as that okay let's say it's asking me for the input it is 5 and 7 and it returned segmentation fault can anyone tell me what's the mistake here that i have done it's returning segmentation fault this segmentation fault has its own story जैसे जैसे हम इस लॉजिक बिल्डिंग के सेशन में मूव करेंगे विल डिस्कस अबाउट दीज थिंग्स आल्सो बट फॉर दिस इंस्टेंस द सेगमेंटेशन फॉल्ट अकर्स बेसिकली 
it occurs when you want to access a value from that memory location which doesn't exist ठीक है जो एग्जिस्ट ही नहीं करता आप उसको एक्सेस करने की कोशिश कर रहे हो सो इन दैट केस राइट इन दैट केस द सेगमेंटेशन फॉल्ट एरर अकर्स तो इस पूरे प्रोग्राम में कैन एनी वन टेल मी वेयर इज दिस सिनेरियो जहां पे हमारी वैल्यू तो एग्जिस्ट ही नहीं करती राइट बट स्टिल वी आर ट्राइंग टू एक्सेस दो वेरिएबल्स और दो वैल्यूज कैन एनी वन टेल मी So this segmentation fault is what you have to like remember. It will help you guys to understand the problem. When you will be getting the same kind of problem, then you can just debug this thing. Okay? Can anyone tell me? Okay, M percent missing. Right, right, right. So this M percent while taking the input, it was missing. This M percent indicates what the memory location or the memory address of these variables x and y. Right. If I run this again, and I give the value of five and seven, then it returns me the output as seven. Okay. Can I say if I instead of just writing this one, if I just write this else, will it work? Can anyone tell me if I just remove that condition and I have just written this else, will it work? Will it work? Okay, let's try running this. And if I again give the value of five or seven, yes, it did work. Right. So we can just uh, instead of using two if statement, I can just do the if and else part also. Right. Now let's move forward and. consider as if we are having three variables that is z we are introducing z here so let's come to this part and now what we'll do is we will discuss what if i'm having x uh, let's say it is having a value as 1 and we are also having 1 that y that is 5 and introducing a new and the third variable that is z and it is having 8 now what i have to do is ki i have to find the maximum of these three vari uh, the, from these the, uh, three variables right so if i say maximum of x comma y comma z it turned out to be it turned out to be what x is 1 it is 5 it is 8 so this returns me the output as 8 why because 8 is the maximum value right so now we have to do this one so if i move to the logic part it says what let's come here if it is x is equals to y y 1 y is equals to 5 z is equals to 8 then it clearly states me that ki if i checks for this one x let's suppose i consider as if x is the maximum so if the x is maximum so in that case the value of y and z must be lower than the value of x right so it means i can say that if let's say what i have to do and what i will need to check is ki if x is greater than y and if x is also greater than z so in this case can i say that the maximum is maximum is what x and this indicates that the y and the z are means y and z are lower than the value of x so these are less than x right now let's say if y is maximum so what i will need to check ki if y is greater than x and if y is greater than z so in this case i can say that the yes the y is maximum right same goes with z let's suppose i believed that z is the maximum okay 
so if i say that z is greater than x and z is greater than what y so if this this case becomes true then i can say that yes the z is maximum and this indicates that x and y is lowest values or maybe lower than x right so considering these options if we come to the coding part and i say okay let's say x is equals to uh, x comma y comma z and then uh, i'll need to take it here as this one and now what i'll need to do is i'll need some conditions that is let's say on first instance i believed that x is greater x is the maximum element of all these three x y and z so what i can do here is i will check if x is greater than y and if x is also greater than what z so in this case or in this case what i'll do is in this case i'll just print uh let's say the x is maximum right if let's say i'm just copying this and what i'm saying ki let's say y is greater then if y is greater then i'll need to check ki if y is greater than x and y is greater than z so in this case i will say just yes the not z but the y is greater again if i want to check for z then what i will check is if z is greater than x and z is greater than what why so in this case i can say that yes z is the greater from x and y right so if i do run this i am getting the input that is let's say 479 and it returns me some garbage value can anyone tell me why 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 am i getting this garbage value or is it something that i am missing you missed person d in a scan of mohit check it out okay uh, okay yes yes person d right so if again i run this let's say 369 it returns me 9 right if let's run for the another input and if i did this let's say 10 Ten and ten, it returns me. Come on, it didn't return me anything. Yeah, it didn't return me anything. That's because you. Okay, okay. over to you. Over to you. Okay. Now, can anyone tell me why it didn't return me anything? Why? What's the? What is the thing that we are doing here? or what's the wrong that we are doing here can anyone tell me why it didn't return me anything if we took the let's say if i again run this uh, if it is 5 5 and 8 it returned me 8 okay so what i am understanding here is ki if all the values are same then it didn't return me anything okay so the problem here is the test case that we missed here is ki if all the values right the x and y goes same goes equal then this program doesn't return me anything right so to overcome this problem what we can do here is ki let's come to this one now what we'll understand is ki x is equals to 5 y is equals to 5 and z is equals to 5 so in this case it returned me returned what nothing it returned nothing why because if we move to the conditional parts it says ki if x is greater than y okay let's check if x is 5 and y is 5 is 5 greater than 5 no 5 is equal to 5 but we haven't checked that condition here and 
when you are using and operator then you have to take care of one thing that either of the condition should be true or false if either of the condition become false then this whole construct won't be executed right so it moves to the next part it again checked for if y is greater than x the value of y is what the value of y is 5 and the value of x is what the value of x is 5 again these two values are same so these uh, so this if part is also not getting executed we'll come to the z part z is 5 year okay and we are checking if z is greater than x but hey x is also greater than no not greater than but it is also equal to what z right so from this for from like currently what i can comprehend is if i add equal to each and every like a relation then we might get the output okay you might also be thinking like that let's check if i am right or wrong i must be right by the way okay so if i do this 555 five, five, and what it return me 555 five, five. so basically it's not a garbage value if i just do a new line here then you will be able to see just if these all values are same then it returned me three times and as a cumva to understand this will come again to the running part and let's say x is 10 here right and if it is greater than equals to y yes it is correct y is also 10 it is not greater than uh, uh, x but it is equal to x hence this if condition will be executed and x will be printed so we got the output as 10 now let's come to the y part y is also greater than equal to x yes y is 10 and y is not greater than x but it is equal to x so this if condition also becomes true hence we got the output printed as y okay now if we are again checking for the same it uh, will go to the same thing okay again the values of like z and x are same hence the value of z is getting printed so the problem here is ki suppose if we wanted to overcome this problem what can i do can anyone tell me what can i do what should i do or what we can do here to improve this code yes yes if x is equals to equals to y and y is equals to equals to z mm, i really need to do that i don't think so okay so if i'm not wrong let's consider this one ki if it is greater than equals to y then it means x is done so what is happening right now here is ki all these three statements are getting executed right so instead of using all these like individual if constructs for each and every value what i'll do is ki i'll use for the x i'll use this if for uh, y what i'll use i will use else if and for z i'll use what else if right so if i do this it is 10 it is 10 it is 10 and now i'm getting the only input that is 10 you might do the same thing if you remove the last else if condition then also the output should be same that is 10 10 10 the answer is again the 10 can anyone tell me if we are getting this value as 10 then which 10 is this is this this one this one or this one which 10 is getting printed the x y and z which 10 is getting printed which 10 is getting printed come on anyone x yes if you understood that 
x is getting printed you are good good to go but if you didn't then let me tell you that why the value of x is getting printed and why not the value of y and z it is because when we tried executing the program it says what ki if it is x that is greater than y and it is also greater than z then in that case print just x and we have like priorly understood that in the if else if and else condition any of the concept goes true then that construct will be executed and other than that construct everything will be eliminated right so it just execute our program just executed this if statement and it never came to these paths right so that is why in every case will be just printing the value of x right if you are checking for the value of y in if condition then will be getting the value of y here if you are checking for the value of z then you will be getting the value of z here right now now i hope everyone is able to understand what we have discussed till now right let me know if you guys are having any kind of doubt till here and we'll move to the next part that is the last topic of today's part it is just finding the second maximum you guys must be aware about till this what we have discussed till now so just let me know give a thumbs up everyone who is present over here anyone good hers come on everyone if you have understood nice nice prisha okay so let's move to the next and the last part last part of today's session that is we have to find what if x is there that is let's say 5 y is there that is let's say 7 and z is there that is let's say uh 9 okay so if this is the condition of the variables then what i have to find is ki abhi tak what we have done is ki we have been finding about the maximum element okay so the maximum from these is what maximum is z that is this 9 now what we want to find is ki we want to find the second maximum okay we want to find what we want to find second maximum how can we do that okay so let's approach to the problem and let's say ki 5 7 9 okay so i am having just 5 7 9 these are just x y and z so if i found that the 9 is maximum right so can i say ki between these two values there will be a number out of these two values there will be a number which will be the second maximum right in a sense this is the maximum if this is maximum then there must be a condition that states that yes out of these two values there must exist a value that is the second maximum so if i checked for the maximum let's say you write the condition for you write the condition uh, not this way but uh, let's say if you checked for maximum and you write the condition okay so if you found the maximum then what i can do is ki i will check if okay uh, if let's say suppose you find here as x is maximum right so what i can see here is ki i will check ki if y is greater than what greater than z right if y is greater than z then just return me z uh, y not z but y y because out of this y and z y is the greatest element and if greatest element is already here this indicates this y is the second maximum element right if you didn't understood yet 
then just consider the another example let's say if x is 8 y is 2 and z is 5 so what i'll see here is or what i'll say here is ki i will check if maximum let's say i'm i'm just doing the condition part okay and what i found here is ki if maximum is 8 okay so this condition basically founds for what that 8 yes the this x indicates x right so if i found that x is the maximum then what i need to check is ki if between these two values if any of the value is larger okay so what and how can i do that i will check if y is greater than z okay so just return me what y else just return me what z because if y is not greater it means z is the greater okay so now i hope you guys understood and we'll check for each and every problem okay we'll go for each and every condition so let's move to the quoting part and i will just make a smaller change here right so what i will do ki i will check for the condition ki if uh, we are checking for x here if x is what we have found that x is the maximum now what will check if y between y and z which value is the maximum so what i'll do if y is greater than z then all uh not this one then all i need to check is uh, this print statement okay let's move it here and print what y okay else what i'll do i will just do this else the z is maximum right so i hope this one is clear what we are doing right now so we are checking just if x is greater than equals to y and x is greater than equals to z so what we have found in this if condition is ki out of this three x y and z the value of x is maximum but our goal is to find the second maximum so we will again move to that condition inside that condition and what we will check for is ki if this y and this z okay we have to find the maximum between these two elements right that we have discussed earlier right so i am just checking ki if y is greater than z okay it means ki y is the second maximum element else the z is second maximum element so what i will do is ki i'll just copy this from here and i will just do for each and every part okay but while i am checking for y if i found that yes y is the maximum out of x y and z then what i'll need to find ki if x is greater than z hence i will do just x else i'll print what i'll return the z because z is the second maximum and in the else condition i am checking for z right so for z what i'll need to check x and y so if i say yes x is greater than y hence x is the maximum else what y is the maximum right so if i run this and if i found that uh, yes let's say it is 8 5 and 9 this returned me 8 nice this is the maximum value this is the second maximum value if i again run uh, again runs this 1 5 and let's say 3 okay it returned me 3 hence this is the output that we have been looking for and i hope everyone is clear with swapping swapping the values with and without variable and we also discussed what will be your side that we can also do the swapping part that we have discussed here is we can do this swapping part where it is yes we can do this swapping part by division and multiplication also okay we can use the division and multiplication part now it's your turn after this lecture got over you have to go and it's a homework for you so you have to like find the logic how can you do the division and multiplication to swap the values right 
and after the swapping we learned we learned about ki how to find the maximum between two elements then the maximum between three elements and then we also understood how to find the maximum the second maximum between three elements right so i hope everyone is able to understand what we have discussed till now and now it's over to your doubts if you guys are having any kind of doubt what we have discussed today then we are ready to entertain okay so whomsoever is here just ask the question if you have any else you are good to go anyone up there who is having or any kind of suggestions or feedback that you guys want to give come on everyone just give a thumbs up or thumbs down anything okay thanks harsh thanks thanks kunjal thanks shanmuk i hope you guys liked what we have discussed today right and will again come to the next question okay from day after tomorrow right and the purpose of these sessions are just to build your logic building that how if you are like we aren't teaching dsa part right but what we can do is from our side that i can help you build the logic that how you can approach any question or how you can think about like approaching any question now uh, can anyone uh, like give me any kind of you will tell also in hindi <laughs> okay uh, I, don't, I, I i i'm not able to like i don't know what to say about this if i can say it in hindi or english because if i speak in english then the english people are happy if i speak in hindi then hindi people are happy to mujhe samajh mein nahi aa raha ki what language do i need to choose or should i make it like permanent in hindi because to be honest i am okay i think if 